Okay, so today I will show you how I record live spreads from my program so I can implement a spread later into historical data to perform good backtests. Okay, so this is one of my trading servers where I test some strategies, but I also use the server to record live spreads. And to record the spreads, I use my own tool, the spread recorder. You can find this tool on my website if you are interested, but you can use any other tool or even do it manually if you want. But it is very important to get the real spread of your broker into your backtest history so that the backtest and later the live conditions are pretty much the same. Okay, and to record the spread, I just open a new window, Euro Dollar. Then I start the spread recorder. I will show you the settings. You can enter the license key and also select which symbols you want to record. I always um, enter market watch because I want to record multiple symbols at the same time. And with the spread recorder, you can record up to um, 28 symbols at the same time. So these are my settings. Then the spread recorder will start to record the spread. It will record the spread every 10 seconds. And you can also select specific symbols to take a look at the data points. Okay, and then you basically just let the spread recorder run for a little bit to collect enough data points. I won't get into detail about each setting of the spread recorder in this video. But for example, you can take a look at the daily profile for each symbol and also a weekly profile. Then you can see how many data points you have recorded for each minute of the day and so on. But now let's just focus on the right side of the spread recorder. This is where you can create a spread file. And now let's just click on the show data button. This will basically just show the data that would be saved with the current settings here on the right side. Okay, then I just select a symbol I want to create a spread file for the time mode, basically if you want a daily or weekly profile, I usually go with the daily profile. You can select a spread mode. I always take the average spread mode. You can fill up um, data gaps with this option. You can add a markup to the spread and you also can apply a moving average to the data. I usually go with a period of five. So you just um, get a cleaner spread curve. Okay, then I select the normal rounding mode. Okay, now if I press on save file, the spread curve here, what we see on the chart, will be saved to the file. Okay, so let's press save to file. And here we can basically set a name and save the spread to a file. Of course, we can also open a spread file to take a look at the spread. Here we see each minute of the day and the according spread value for this minute. And we also see that around midnight, the spread is pretty high and it gets lower later into the day. Okay, and this is how I record my spread from my broker. In the next video, I will show you how I use these spread files to implement the data into my historical data to perform accurate backtests. Okay, see you in the next video.